Hello, comrades. Commissar Bro here today with Superpower 2. As per usual, you know, it's always a good one to come back to. And today I've decided I will go ahead and take a look at uh, one of the harder countries to play, Liberia. Liberia, as you know, was a com com company. Liberia. <laughs> Self my off day. It's still early. It was a country established a long time ago uh, by freed slaves from the United States. That's right. Interesting little backstory for Liberia. Needless to say, modern day Liberia is not doing so hot. Not at all, not at all. The average person makes about a thousand dollars a year. It's not very good. No, it's not. Now, it's not as bad as a start in Djibouti, mind you. If you remember, this was Djibouti when we first started. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's just it's hard to think that that was the original Djibouti. Anyway, let's focus on economics, because I know that's what you're all here for. You're here to see what we can do with this country. Alright, well what we're going to start by doing is we are going to lower the interest levels. That's right, I'm going to lower it to 0% and then I'm going to raise personal income tax monumentally. That's right, I'm going to jump this up to, eh, that's a little bit too high. Really I like to do it around 79.5 every time. We'll do 79.4. That's fine and acceptable. Now, as you know, this tanks your approval rating. People hate this, and they hate you for doing it. But that's okay. We will gain their trust back. Now, keep in mind, this is a multi-party democracy. So, if your approval rating is too low, like where it is for me right now, you can get booted out of power. And that's a bad thing. That's right. So what we're going to do is we're going to permit freedom of demonstration allow our people to demonstrate against the government to make us go further on the left of the ideology tree we are going to permit abortion again we want countries like the United States to like us so that's what we're gonna do there's no guarantee that the United States is going to like us though keep that in mind just because of the fact that our political party may not be the same as the United States which as I can see is the United States is actually a little bit more right in this case yes they are hmm. anyway what we are going to do is we're going to turn off child labor although child labor does provide about a 10 percent bonus to resource growth which is huge we are going to make the world like us so actually i might actually that made me go further to the left i'm going a little bit too left i want to be more right to be in line with the United States because I think the Republican Party is currently in control of the United States. Oh, but look on the bright side. European countries are getting very, very close to us. Anyway, let's see about how much money we're making. So once we add in that gross tax rate of 79.4, we are still in the hole. That's right. Because this country has a actually pretty good health care system surprisingly enough uh, but we're gonna tank that down because health care is not important right now what is important is infrastructure maxing that out getting rid of as much propaganda as possible lowering health care lowering education and damn trying to get government up because corruption is a plague that must be stamped out early on before you end up spending ludicrous amounts of money on it. Alright, so let's get rid of environment. I'm just going to get rid of propaganda altogether. Because propaganda makes other countries like you more. As you can see, I'm on the top right here. I'm up to like 52, 51, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so what I have done by doing this is, look, the balance is now negative 266 million, I think, per month and or quarter which is pretty good start out. So let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Let's let some time pass and see what happens. See how the balance goes up. All right, so I've let about three or four months pass. Uh, it is now May of 2001, and we're still pretty low in the tank. So that's not good, but that's all right. We might be able to fix it. We're gonna bring healthcare down a little bit more. 
Uh, let's see. I don't want to have to bring telecommunications down if I don't have to. Um, let's see. Let's actually take a step over here to this tab. We're going to raise the global tax mod. We need short-term income. And unfortunately, if that means killing our growth and resources, that may just be what we have to do. Because Liberia is really poor, and it's mainly because of the uh, the lack of production and but the high consumption. So we're losing a lot of money, needless to say. All right, so that bumped us up a good bit. Honestly, we're probably going to want to bump it up another 20%. Again, this is not something you want to do on the regular. This is not a good idea at all. To, it kills your growth, really. That's it, 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 It's bad. But look, by doing that, we now have guaranteed short-term income that can at least help us control this situation before it gets worse. So, let's see, where can we go now? Well, what we should do now is we should actually start looking at other countries and see if we can find one that doesn't have a negative balance that can provide us economic aid. Because in the um, this most recent version of Superpower 2, if a country has a negative balance, they will not uh, provide you economic aid, which is, again, something we need. So let's take a look around and see what we can find. As you can see, oh, look, Burma. Burma is actually making money, but they don't like us. So let's keep looking. Uh, Asian countries aren't big fans of us, that's for sure, because we're going more with the Western approach in our politics. Let's see, because apparently... The countries in Asia, a lot of them are very strong leftists. Look at Indonesia. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Right. Okay. Anyway, we are going to, actually, now that I think about it, it'd probably be a not bad idea to close our borders. Let's see. Yeah, no, we can leave them open. Not too many of our population are leaving. So we will leave that open. And let us look around. Ah, here we go. Look, Canada has actually managed to control their debt, so we're going to get economic aid from them. Let's see if they'll accept. Booyah. And I'm actually going to sign up two trees with them. There we go. Okay. Now let's take a look at Liberia. All right, look at that. That's $137 million that we have coming in now. Good, 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 good. All right, we're actually on good terms with Cuba. That's good, too. Oh, look, here we go. The Dominican Republic is on good terms with us, and they are managing to control their debt. All right, so let's go with them, economic aid. Boom. There we go. Let's keep looking. Are there any more? Nope, nope. Some of these countries are really hard to click on. Oh, it's Puerto Rico. It's part of the United States. I always forget about that. Vote to be a state, Puerto Rico. Become the 51st. You can do it. I don't see why they haven't yet. But anyway, no talk about politics on a geopolitical game. Why else would we need that? Let's focus. Oh, look. Niger's doing quite well for itself. They're making money as well. Well, anyway, since we are starting to make money, now is a good time to lower this global tax mod. So we're going to bring it down about eh, 5%. Because, again, this is killing our growth. And that, I don't know, it's something we don't really need to risk. Now, we can we can manage a high tax rate because you can keep approval rating up. But that, you just can't fix that. All right, now let's look. We want to try to raise education and government. Corruption's becoming really bad, and we're starting to lose a lot of money to it. So we want to try to get rid of it. Knock it out, as it were. And we'll even raise education while we go. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, should we raise foreign aid? I'm considering it. Nah, nah, we won't. See, now I'm only making about 33 million, but that's okay. We are in a sustainable place now. Uh, let's take a look. See, our approval rating is slowly rising. Uh, we have to be concerned because what day is it that the elections occur? 2005, January 1st. So, we've still got about almost uh, two years and 11 months before elections occur, which... You know, that's not too far off. But again, we are in a sustainable place at this point. This is exactly where you want to be. Uh, you just kind of want to, again, let, let's reiterate what I've done. Personal income tax, 79.4. Interest level, 0%. Budget, 
uh, maxed out infrastructure, maxed out government. It's expensive, but you max out government to get rid of corruption. You max out infrastructure because it improves uh, resource growth, and telecom does as well. And uh, well, uh, telecom more affects the uh, transportation in your country. Uh, in this case, and well, infrastructure does too, really. Anyway, that's not that's not important. What is important is the two things that you want to max out is tele uh, uh, government infrastructure. If you can and you have the extra money, go ahead and get telecom as well. If you don't, that's fine. Um, and education, you want to rise it a little bit because corruption can't be wiped out completely unless you're putting money into education for some reason, which kind of makes sense. But anyway, that's not important. Um, also, over here on the resource tab, as you can see, you know, global tax mod, 26.1% as of right now. Not something you want to do all the time. Not a good idea all the time. Remember that. Not a good idea all the time. Because it can tank your economy. So, what we're going to do is now we are going to see if it would be worthwhile to increase some of our resources. Uh, let's try increasing cereals. Yes, it is. We'll get a little bit of money back. And, uh, yeah, we start to increase our resources a little bit. See, look at that. We had a huge boost to our resources. And, bam, look at all the money we're making now. So, let's go ahead and increase it a little bit more. And, uh, why not just go one more time? Give it another 25%. So, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead all in one more. There we go. So, now we are doing really well in our food and agriculture what we'll want to do is eventually get all the way down this list and make sure all of its maxed out oh god our services industry is terrible that is awful oh my gosh anyway not important it will be fixed later but again this is Liberia this is the situation we are in and this is only two and a half years in we're not even three years in and we're already well on our way to controlling all the problems this country has. We're doing really good, basically. And this is pretty much how you want to uh, treat it every time you play. You know, raise personal income taxes. Again, this is pretty much the same strategy I use with every country. I did the same thing with Djibouti. I did the same thing with the Cuba video that I made. And I'm doing the same thing with Liberia. This is the best way to build your country up every single time. Guaranteed, anyway. It may not be the fastest, but I promise it is the, uh, it's the most secure. It's the most stable to ensure that you don't kill your economy, kill your growth, or kill something like that. And without having to take over another country, either. Again, this isn't a glitch. Like, I've seen a couple videos where people do glitches. Ooh, look, I've been asked to join an economic trade treaty. Oh, yes, definitely. I didn't even notice that. I wasn't paying attention to that stuff. Oh, look, Finland. Oh, look at all these people who are going to pay our bills. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Let's just join all of them. Yes, that's right. Keep joining. Join until your heart's content. The fools. Anyway, um, again, this is the best way to do it. You get, you change a little bit of politics here or there. To make other countries like you more, especially the European countries, because European countries are fucking rich. And, you know, the United States, it's rich. There's no going around it. It's not politically incorrect. It's true. They're rich. So, take advantage of that richness. Leech off that shit to make yourself a more powerful country. Uh, again, this is only th about to be three years in. And look how much money we've already got Liberia making. Um, so from here, more than likely what we would do is we would continue to improve, uh, improve the stability, the approval, and, you know, stomping out corruption, because corruption will take a lot of money out of your bank account. Right now, I'm losing $125 million of my total income to corruption. That's terrible. That's awful. But if we can get rid of it, it won't be that big of a deal anymore. So I'm actually going to raise education a little bit. But anyway, this has been Call Me Sabro. Thank you so much for watching. I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. Um, I may very well continue this later on, turn it into a more warlike state, you know, show you some fighting with Liberia, uh, so on and so forth. But as it stands right now, we are an incredibly, incredibly successful country that is getting um, a third of its income paid by foreign countries. We are making a ass of money off of trade 
and yeah, personal income tax sucks, but whatever. We might honestly, you know what? It's so minuscule. I'm actually going to lower it just to keep uh, approval and stability high, and we'll just make our money in other places. So let's do that. Bump that down. Help the people a little bit. A little bit. But anyway, this has been Comic Saw Bro. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, all the good shit. You know what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you next time with some other, you know, video of Superpower 2 and all the new XCOM series. Speaking of which, tell me how you like it because I love XCOM. XCOM is one of my, honestly, it's my favorite uh, uh, strategy game of 2012. And Enemy Within is probably my favorite strategy game of 2013. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you later, comrades. Good day, comrades. Commissar Bro here. Taking a look at Superpower 2. This game is amazing. I don't know. You, I, I, a lot. I guess a lot of people haven't played it, but it was recently re-released on Steam. And in my excitement, 